Last week, Isaac got Mary. Mary. What is his wife's name? Rebecca. Rebecca. Excellent job. Now, Isaac and Rebecca, they were about 40, Isaac was 40 years old when he got married to Rebecca. How old is he? How old was he? I just said it. 40. 40 years old. And his wife, Rebecca, couldn't have kids. That's called being barren, which means that her baby tummy didn't work. Aww. Okay, so they, they would try to have kids, but guess what? No luck. No luck. And it was about 20 years they tried. Hunter, like 20 years they tried to have kids. That's a long time. Right? 20 years, I mean, is, no one's that old in here, except for some of us adults. Um, well, Isaac thought, you know, I really need to talk to God about this because I want to have kids. Because don't you remember that there's the three P's, God? There's the promise of a people, a, a place, and the presence. And right now, if I don't have any kids, there's no people. So he's like, God, remember your promise? So like human beings are telling God what to do. So the Isaac goes, the Lord, my wife really needs to have a baby. Like, so you should help her out with that. And guess what? Ta-da! She was pregnant. I mean, just like that, Rebecca was pregnant. Now, interesting thing about um, Josiah. Interesting thing about uh, Rebecca's pregnancy was there was uh, two kids in there, which is called twins. And Rebecca was having a really tough time because the babies were fighting inside, and the Bible calls it they jostled, <laughs> which I guess is a nice word for it. they were punching each other, which is what boys. They were jostling inside the womb, and Rebecca's like, God. So she talks to God, too, and says, God, I don't get this. Why are the babies fighting in there? I can't tell them to stop. They won't listen to me. And, and God goes, oh, oh, you're going to have twins. Because she kind of didn't know there were twins, but there was something going on. She's like, you're going to have twins. And then he said, there's two nations in your womb. The United States and Canada. Oh, I'm just kidding. I mean, Jacob and Esau. That was going to be their names later. Israel and Edom. Two different nations. And the older one is going to serve the younger one. Well, that's messed up. Because back then, who served who? The older served the younger. No. No, I mean, the younger served the older. Yeah, sorry. Really, thanks for helping me. So she's kind of puzzled by this, but. So anyway, comes time for birth. We're not going to replay this. We'll replay something else here. But here comes Bert. And so out comes the first baby. And he was, here's what the Bible says. He was red and hairy. <laughs> kind of like um, a red hairy bean or something. Uh, and so they named him Esau, which means red and hairy. They're not very original. but uh, So his name was Esau. Who's the oldest? Esau. Esau, exactly, Esau. He was red hair. Uh, as, uh, as Esau was coming out, guess what the other guy was doing? Holding on to his heel. Holding on to his heel, exactly. Um, Tanner, could you come up here for a second? All right, well, you, for, you stand right here. Stand right there. Okay, pretend you're Esau. Okay, stick one leg up for me. You just came out of the, your mom's tummy. And then uh, I'm Jacob. And this is the next guy, the next kid. It's kind of hard to stand like this. Yeah. Okay, I can do whatever I want with you right now. Nice job, all right. And he's grabbing onto his, actually not his ankle, more like his heel. Like this. All right? And then, uh, and then out comes Jacob. Now Jacob was not red, nor was he hairy. He was smooth. <laughs> kind of like the chairs you're sitting on. They're smooth versus the rug. Kind of rough, right? So, uh, hey, thanks so much, Esau. Appreciate it. Good job. And they named him um, Jacob because Jacob means one who grabs onto a heel. <laughs> yeah, all right. And uh, that really means deceiver or trickster. Or I like to pull pranks on people. Right. Fast forward a number of years. Uh, who's older again? Esau. Who's younger? grew up to be a mighty hunter. <laughs> now back then, they probably weren't required to wear blaze orange, as 
we are today, so that way uh, yes, our hunters don't get injured. Is there something on the back? There's something on my back? Yes, I know, it's called my hunting license. Right. This is actually what I use when I go hunting. All right. This is my uh, hunting jacket. And uh, Esau was a skillful hunter. He was really good with a, with a bow and arrow. I mean, he was like an excellent shot. It was really good. Now, Esau and his dad got along super well. They were like favorites. Whereas Jacob and his mom, what's her name? Rebecca. Rebecca. Now, they were favorites. Now, Esau, he got along okay with Jacob, but his favorite son was Esau. You know why? Because Esau was a really good hunter, and he brought all this really good meat. And he, he, Isaac was like, oh, 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 yeah. Oh, me like meat. Me like meat. <laughs> Where, uh, where Jacob, he's not into the hunting thing. He was more like, I just want to cook with my mom. <laughs> and so he would get along with his mom. He would stand by, he would stay by the tents and stuff. So, all right, I need one volunteer. Someone to play Jacob. Somebody with a uh, smooth, buttery skin. Mr. Mr. Yeah, you can Mr. Kuber. Just like that. And uh, uh, Esau was out uh, hunting, and he must not have had a good day because uh, he came back with nothing. And he must have been out a long time because he was starving. You guys ever get to a point where you're like, Mom, Mom, I'm so hungry. Yeah. If I don't get food, I'm going to die. Mom, Mom. So that's how hungry Esau was. He's like, Jacob, oh, it smells so good. Everybody? Good. Oh, yeah, exactly. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, I'm not going to die. And Jacob has a sly trickster grin because what does his name mean? Trickster, exactly. He's like, ha, ha. And I'm like, give me some stew, bro. And Jacob says, I don't know. Because, what do you want? I want your birthright. Now, pause for just a second. Back in those days, a birthright meant that the oldest kid got twice as much as everybody else. Now that's pretty cool, isn't it, Aaliyah? I mean, wouldn't it be cool? You're the first one. I mean, if your mom was dishing out Oreo cookies, so let's say Lydia gets one, Aaliyah gets two. Isaiah gets one, Lydia, er, Aaliyah gets two. You're like, what? That's not fair. Oh, and not only does she get double, she's in charge. So a birthright meant you were in charge and you got double. So if, 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 if you guys got five, you got five Oreo cookies, guess how many she would get? Ten. Ten? Would that be frustrating, Isaiah? No, Yeah, maybe she would share, but normally. They would. Okay, sorry, back up here. Right. So what is Esau getting? He's got a birthright, which means he gets how many? Double. So, back to the story, Jacob. Give me some stew. Jacob goes, I don't think so. What do you want? Your birthright. Well, Esau's dying. He's so hungry, his stomach is doing flips, and it's about to come out this way because he just can't. Oh, yeah, maybe I could eat my stomach. No, let me some broth. Esau started to think, you know, that double portion doesn't look so good right now. That, that, getting two more Oreo cookies than my brother Isaiah doesn't look so good right now. If I'm dead! <laughs> because guess what? He thought he was going to die. Well, what is a birthright good for if I'm dead? Okay, okay, I'll give you my birthright. And Jacob goes, ah, ah, you say that now. But are you being really real? Yes, I'm being really real. Swear to me. Whoa. Okay. I tell him swear, Jacob or Isa. I give you my birthright. Blah, blah, blah. Jacob goes. And he gets a big grin on his face and he goes, here. As he's 
Blessing. 
not in the special place that God had. Okay, let's pray. God, uh, God thanks so much for these stories that teach us just about um, ourselves sometimes and about how um, we are supposed to act. And maybe sometimes how you um, how you help fix things even when we mess them up. So be with us today, God, as we go to our classes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.